Sagittarius. Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for September 14th, December to September 20th, 2020. So thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate it very much. So there's no way this can connect to every single Sagittarius. It's just a general reading for people who have the same placement as you. If, um, if it were personal, it could apply more to you. So it's just going to be general. I read the cards and you decide if they apply to you or your situation. So remember the masculine feminine, which would be kings and queens, prince and princesses, can be vice versa. So if I'm talking about a queen and you're like, oh no, that would be me, but it's a king, then feel free to vice versa that king energy or queen. So here we go. And welcome cross watchers, which are people who go to see other people's videos to kind of engage what's going on in the relationship possibly. So here we go. The first one is the Earth Wisdom card for you. Sagittarius Divine Protection. So this basically talks about you are protected. And I feel like you're healing. I really do. So let me look at this real fast. That would equal three if three means anything to you. So this talks about Angelica enhances divine protection, spiritual guidance, love, and healing. Andalusite, sometimes called fairy stones, can form a circle of protection. Sometimes we are required to go where angels and perhaps even fairies fear to tread. Before heading to the deep dark unknown, surround yourself with the divine protection. Create a circle of light around yourself, drawing in protective energy from all around. Connect to your higher source and ask for loving guidance. So the next one is Bless Sight 28. This is beautiful. So already I can see that you see a future for yourself. You see something changing to make you more happy is what I'm feeling. You're anticipating um, something, definitely. So let me see. It says... Lavender soothes the soul, mind, and emotions when calm and is easier to see good in the world, the blessing in any situation, and understand the lessons to be learned. Rhodochrosite is a lovely stone that increases inner strength. Difficult situations are a part of life. While they are not pleasant at the time, they play important roles in our lives, or they can if you have the right mindset. The divine in your inner divine self can see the big picture allow you to glean important lessons about life and about yourself. So, so far, a lot about you. And then the next one is Transformation 16, which would be 7. So, yeah, that's good. Very good. So, Transformation, something is changing. I feel like a lot of things are changing, but for, obviously, Sagittarius, it's more self-change. So, Mulin brings awareness and light to consciousness and understanding of one's higher purpose. Amethyst aids in transformation. Sometimes a change of habit is enough. Other times, only a complete transformation will do. It is time to gain a fuller understanding of your soul's purpose. And that will require transformation, a rearranging of your worldview and practices that bring your actions into line with your ideas. Reach for and embrace your highest vision for yourself. That's good. Big picture. All right, I'm going to start with the Chakra Wisdom deck. Sagittarius, you have three of coins. Growth and promotion with your coins. Which I believe you had that before as well. Then you have temperance. So the universe is balancing something out or making you wait for something because they feel it's not the correct time. So the next one is judgment. Meaning somebody has passed judgment on you and the universe is going to make them feel how it feels to pass judgment on somebody. And the hero font is third eye intuition. Could be legal stuff, uh, justice of the peace, divorce, stuff like that, lawyer. And then seven of wands is you feeling like you've had to work really hard to get where you are so you kind of feel like defensive. Ten of Cups is happiness. So Four of Swords is you needing to take a step back from something. Something concerning love. You're 
you're overthinking and you're not getting anywhere. So it says to take a step back. So Eight of Coins is you organizing and planning your future and you're trying to make a decision about something and you're not sure how to make a decision. So the devil is Capricorn placements. This could be uh, toxic energy around you. To me, this is somebody who gave 100% in a relationship and somebody gave nothing. So Two of Wands. Two of Wands is you needing to make a decision concerning other people. But again, I feel like some sort of love is coming in towards you. Ace of Wands. There's another one. So yeah, Ace of Wands and Two of Wands. So I feel like somebody is going to offer you love with a lot of passion. And the Fool, this is my taking a leap of faith. Tower. So something falls apart so it can rebuild for your highest good. The world. Beautiful. So the world is your world changing so much that like your coins change, your residence changes. There's a big change that's going to be for your higher power. So I think I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati now. And you have the Emperor. The Emperor is... Aries usually, but this is somebody with a boss-like mentality, um, a boss at work. They could be narcissistic, arrogant. And the next one for you is the lovers, Gemini placement. So maybe an emperor is coming towards you. And then you have Prince of Wands. So Prince of Wands is somebody else. So right now it looks like you have two people that want to be your lovers, what it looks like. And then you have two of wands. So this is two of wands, making a decision, being flexible, compromising. But I feel like, yeah, love is coming in. Beautiful. So the next one is queen of wands. So this is Somebody who has hope for new beginnings. The Queen of Wands is an action queen. She does what she says she's going to do. Very successful. Then you have the wheel. Beautiful. So the wheel says that something is changing in your life. That's going to change something in your life. So Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's offering love. She's very generous. She's very loving. Four of Cups is somebody not even even noticing the cup being offered to them. They're focusing on the cups from the past. So Three of Swords is somebody bringing a third party in. It could be putting work before the relationship, the pet, a sibling. The Sun is going into happiness, going where you want to be, being humble and having everything you've asked for. Four of Wands is marriage. Wow, Sagittarius, the sun in marriage. And then you have Ten of Wands, which looks like um, it didn't work out and you're going on alone. Definitely is what that looks like. Alright, so I'm going to switch to the Soul's Journey Lesson card for you. The first one for you, Sagittarius, is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So this talks about the sacral chakra and communication. There's some communication where you, it's going to promote change or it's going to cause change. Something would change in your um, voice. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. And this talks about healing. You are healing and I do feel like some of you are aware of what you are here to do. It has to do with love and healing, I feel. So I don't know if it's nurses. Something like that. So the first one of the angel and ancestors is resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time for you to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. Beautiful. So resilience. One. That's good. And then the next one is 30, surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality, that which is inside, also known as the beyond measure. 
So each one of these is considered a sun, and one sun is abundant. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. That's abundance. And look at the yellow. Very nice Sagittarius. I did pick up down here, there's a lot of going inside your head and trying not to self-sabotage for sure. So the Angel and Ancestor card for you is seer, see beyond the current situation. So you see her eyes are covered and her hands are going. I feel like you're going to get information and intuition, which could be them testing you to see if you're w willing. And then direction, guardian, choose your path is Ezekiel. So Ezekiel is a, for, in the Bible and he saw four angel faces. And I don't think it's anyone else can say that. So this talks about you have a choice, your direction. You can go any direction you want, Sagittarius, in your life right now. The universe is open to you. They're supporting you, offering you. So I hope this helps you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Bless you.